Hi everyone, Tanner from Imagine the Room Closets. Today we're going to start by talking about how to design a closet that has a window in it and how to work your shelving system around that and to make the best use of the space. We've got a really good example of a closet that was really, really small, but it was a beautiful timber frame construction home. And uh, they had lived with this closet for a few years and they finally got in touch with us and we were able to do something really amazing in their closet. So to start off, we're gonna look at their before pictures. And uh, I really, I love these before pictures because they show just how, uh, how much they needed our, how much they needed our help. So looking at the side of the closet that's got their uh, window in it, it was a really cool triangular window, but uh, all they were able to manage was to throw a, a hanging rod across the, the closet. They had a dresser in there and uh, they'd probably be mortified that I'm showing these, but this is honestly all the time I see closets like this, people are, you know, they'll say, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I say, hey, that's fine. That's why we're here. We're gonna see what you already have in the closet so that we know how much storage you need and we're gonna make it work really well for you. As we look at the back of the closet, you can see another detail here that made it a little bit of a challenge um, with what they had tried to do. There was a, another beam that went right down the back of this very small closet, so they didn't know what to do with it. They had uh, some of those plastic shelves, which I see those a lot of the times in people's closets as well. So we, we came up with some really good ideas for it. So as we look at our uh, CAD drawing here, we went through quite a few different revisions, but what we came up with was we usually what will happen is underneath windows we will try and do some combination of shelving uh, and drawers is usually what makes the most sense. When you have a window in a closet the opportunity to do two rows of hanging usually isn't available to you so what you can do is you can either do some shelves and some hanging underneath it and I will show you a picture here of some other closets that we've done where that was an option. So here's an example of a closet. Uh, it's not the best angle because it was such a tight closet, but uh, they had a window in it and you can see that we have some shelving and some drawers underneath this window. And just peeking underneath those shelves is we have a hanging rod. So what we did here is we put the, uh, their long hanging underneath that window because that was kind of the only option that was available to them. This closet here, which I'll show you a picture of, uh, was a nice big walk-in closet that we had done underneath their window, they wanted to have uh, shoes. So we did kind of like a little dresser unit um, and lots of adjustable shelves underneath it. So they were able to put all of their shoes that they had in there. The last example we're gonna look at is um, an, another, it's a, quite a large walk-in closet, it's very long. And they had a window at the back of the closet. Instead of doing the, uh, a shoe tower or something like that, they actually opted to do a, a mirror underneath the window, which in this case, it was tall enough, it worked really well for them. That's always a good option if you've got a window kind of at the end of a skinny closet, uh, just throw a mirror underneath it, um, or another idea is a laundry hamper uh, is, is not a bad place for that either. So lastly, we'd like to go over the big reveal. What did that before uh, picture of that tiny closet turn into? So. We were really happy with the, the end result. They actually picked uh, a super nice finish. Uh, it was kind of a white wood grain finish and they went with black hardware. So you can see we did uh, shelves and drawers underneath this, underneath this window. We left them some cubbies and some adjustable shelves. And if you recall that before picture where they had their plastic racking in and they had that kind of beam thing in the middle, you can see what we did with the back of the closet. Uh, we actually tucked in some cubbies right beside that beam and then we did a little bit of their hanging that they needed at the very back of the closet right next to that. Keeping in consideration that window, one of the things that we didn't do is we didn't put hanging beside the window and that what that does is it allows so that the clothes on the hanger don't actually stick out into the window to kind of cut off that natural light that's coming into the room which is always a nice thing to have. Thank you everyone for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our uh, tutorial and discussion on how to design a closet with a window in it. Um, if you have your own closet that you're struggling with or you'd like us to take a look at, please send us some pictures and we'd love to have you on our channel and we'll find a, a great design to make your closet work for you. Thanks and have a great day.